Welcome back to our continuing coverage of night one of the Democratic National Convention here in Chicago. Our Caitlin Huey Burns is in York, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump held a campaign event earlier today. And then Caitlin had a one on one interview with the former president. So, Caitlin, it's great to see you. Tell us more about what he had to say and what your impressions were of the conversation. Hey, Nancy, it's great to see you. Donald Trump is offering a week of counter-programming to the DNC. And today he's here in Pennsylvania, which is a must-win state for him. Uh, he, his remarks today were focused on the economy. But in our interview, I asked about these attacks that he's been making on Kamala Harris, criticizing her appearance, criticizing her intelligence. And I asked if those are the messages that he wants to send or should send to engage and turn out voters who are in the middle or on the fence. And he essentially said that he's not changing his strategy, that he wants to call her out, and that he's essentially going to continue to do so. Uh, Nancy, it was also interesting because we asked about his medical records. Uh, he is now the oldest candidate in this race, and if he wins the presidency, he will be older than Biden is at the end of his next term, if elected. So he insisted that he will release all of his medical records, so we will continue to follow up on that. Um, I also asked if uh, he had any regrets about the overturning of Roe versus Wade, and he said that he did not that this is now an issue for the states. Of course, we know, and you're at the Democratic National Convention, that this is a really animating issue for Democrats and especially suburban women voters. And we've seen a big gender gap in our new polling between himself and Kamala Harris. Caitlin, even some of the former president's closest allies have been urging him publicly not to go after uh, the vice president's appearance, not to uh, make fun of her name, not to say that she's dumb. Uh, did he show any sign that he is hearing those people and considering what they have to say? No, Nancy, and it's interesting. I asked him specifically about comments we heard from the, over the weekend from Lindsey Graham, who is a top ally of the former president, they play golf together. And I, you know, Lindsey Graham said over the weekend that, you know, Trump, the showman, in his words, will not win the election. And uh, I asked Donald Trump about that, and he criticized Lindsey Graham um, and said that, you know, he's not going to take his advice. Interesting. We're looking forward to seeing more of your interview coming up. Caitlin Huey Burns in York, Pennsylvania. Thanks so much.